Uh, hello, hi everyone. In today's video, I will be explaining you about the concept of what is SEO and how that SEO is implemented. Like for any beginner, if you want to understand how this SEO works, this introduction video will give a clear picture and a clear idea about how this process is going to work. So before going into the video, I would like to tell about myself. I'm Amit Astrodeen and I'm the senior trainer at Web Trainings Academy as well as we offer trade we offer the product services of digital marketing in our organization it info group and uh, about me i'm also certified in adwords uh, in adwords certification that is one of the program provided by adwords to uh, exactly test what's the knowledge uh, uh, the person has in the field of uh, pay-per-click marketing and overall i have been working in this industry from past eight years so in our curriculum in our actual classes i will be giving you the complete detail uh, step-by-step uh, -step procedures to implement all the uh, tactics of SEO as well as I will explain you what's going to happen what's the uh, predicted what's the predictions in the market about SEO what's the next thing we are going to get in SEO so overall I, I, in this video I would like to make you understand what is SEO so first of all let's understand why we need to do SEO what is the reason uh, most of the corporates are looking for SEO services why they have to implement SEO services now basically if you see the if there is a demand for a service certain uh, particular product or a certain service it means to say that actually there is a user demand there is a user uh, demand driven demand for that particular process for that reason only the corporates are looking for SEO let's take for example now let's take for example we have earlier in India we doesn't have uh, uh, we doesn't have televisions at that time if you see the marketing on televisions uh, were not that attractive for the companies and they used to use mostly the paper media because most of the people used to use the uh, print media the papers but as soon as there was a huge boom in the television industry and every household now has a television so you see there is a huge demand for television marketing in the same way because in india as per the metrics which i have got from various uh, sources 24 crore people the 24 crore indians right now already have access to the internet and if you take the u.s statistics almost 86 percent of the u.s population have access to the internet and they use the search engines and social media and etc stuff so we can say the first reason why we need to do seo is if you take google itself 44,000 plus users are actually doing the search in a second in google which if you take all the search engines combined in a day we get approximately anywhere between 5 billion to 6 billion searches and and this can increase or decrease depending on what's actually happening in the market so you can imagine six billion searches which is uh, equivalent to indian uh, value you can say 600 crore people are searching on an everyday basis which creates a huge huge potential for the advertisers to target this particular uh, area of search engines and if you see as per the reports as well we can see most of the users today are starting their journey like if they want to purchase a product say for example samsung galaxy they are not going to any famous website or in an online shopping website and they are directly purchasing a product no what they are first doing is they are going to the search engines they are fact actually doing a basic research about the product for example if i am interested in purchasing samsung phone I may first search for Samsung S5 specification. Now, once I'm happy with the specification, then I would like to see the picture. So maybe Samsung S5 pictures. Then I may search for uh, what is the review about the product. So I may say Samsung S5 reviews. So this is the market. This is the way user is actually searching. So if the company is not found, for any of these queries then how can you expect how can how can the business expect that is going to get the visitor so this is the reason like you can see the one stop location where most of the users now starting their journey towards purchasing a service towards purchasing a product in fact you have found this video when you were searching for SEO training that is I'm able to connect to you because you are looking for the SEO training or you want to know what is SEO so that's the reason that's the way actually we are using our strategy to to connect to the people so that because you are actually looking us through the search engine so that is the strategy what SEO is about that connecting to those people who are interested in a product or a service on search engines let's go ahead and understand what is this SEO process will involve like what is that exactly involved so basically SEO is a strategy wherein our basic idea or a basic need is that we want to rank our website on the top we want to rank our website on the top for any query or a keyword searched by the user 
for example if you see just now if you are searching for the keyword say SEO training or SEO training in Hyderabad and you got our video you got our website so automatically you click on it and you move forward to know what is more offered in this that's what SEO is all about if suppose you, let's take you are looking for laptops okay if you're looking for laptops you can have a, a simple idea here let's take I'm searching for the keyword laptops so when I search for laptops here you can see like basically this I'm, I'm interested uh, I, I will be getting some website like Flipkart snap and then I can process further and understand what is that particular process is all about so one thing is how do we achieve this rankings how do we get this ranking so in a nutshell we can say search engine optimization is actually a procedure it's a step-by-step -step procedure wherein we follow certain guidelines given by the search engines it's something like if I want to rank if I want to score good marks in an exam then I have to follow the guidelines given by my teacher I will say I will follow the notes of my teacher I will follow what what's the way of solving the problem then I solve the problem I get the rank right in the same way in search engine ranking the process of the ranking achieving the ranking is we follow what Google is actually allowing and we follow what is Google not allow we will follow we will avoid those things which is not allowed by Google and if you say if you if you do something which is not allowed by Google we call that as an another field which we call them that tactics as black hat SEO tactics we are not going to deal about that now but in our curriculum we are having a specific um, module on uh, black hat SEO techniques which may be actually very dangerous for uh, website owners if they implement there is a chance of getting complete permanent ban in Google search and coming to the next factor if you say how does Google rank a website on the top how can uh, how can Google judge that this is a good website or this is not a good website so how does Google judge that this is a si good site or not you can see Google uses almost 200 plus factors 200 plus factors to Check whether this site is good or it is bad and see more I can say this is the uh, factor given by Google themselves if you see their uh, uh, reports and the data in their uh, main website and some of the support articles you will find they are using 200 plus factors to rank a website so in short in a nutshell we can say what is SEO is implementing this 200 factors positively according to the Google requirement to rank our website on the top what are those factors for example if you see take one example age of the website for example I have created a website which is a 15 year old website so and another competitor is there his website is one year old so Google sees this 15 year website as a different factor and one year website as a different factor because the website which is 15 year old will have more trust because it's a very old site so this is one factor or you take for example uh, how the domain name is booked like say whether the domain name is very long like say www uh, what is SEO training dot com or is it like a short domain even Google says many different factors in considering we will study about that factors as well when we go into the process and then in SEO the biggest challenge for the SEO strategies the people who are SEO analysts the people who are actually working in SEO industry the biggest challenge for them is keeping updating themselves according to the market like see for example the biggest challenge is the updates which are released by especially by Google so here what we do is whenever there is a new update let's take for example panda update before panda update people used to uh, copy paste content they used to rank, rank well but today we cannot use the duplicate content because we may be hit with the panda update so here the next point I would like to clarify is what are the updates which have already came in the market and even there are many more are in plan many more can be implemented in the future let's take for example the most popular updates released by Google are the panda update which target the duplicate content websites who are using duplicate content and if you see the next update Google release was penguin update there were two major parts of a penguin update one penguin will target those websites who are using excessive link building and number two who are using excessive uh, SEO process in the website like adding too many keywords okay repeating the keyword again and again like excessive on page uh, is also one of the factor which was affected by some of the versions of the penguin then they release the hummingbird update which will automatically understand the user query and translate the user query to an appropriate query to give the answer for example if you type suppose where is Taj Mahal so we used to get websites for that but today if you will not get a website you got a one box answer which simply tells you if you search it will tell you the Taj Mahal in Agra UP. that's the way it's going to work out and recently Google has released penguin update just 
uh, in the month of uh, July and August, July and uh, they released the first version and on July 24th and they released the version again with the minor changes on August 1st. That update was actually Pigeon update which was related. This this update was related to the local listings and ranking on the local business and very recently they have released the update called as HTTPS signal update. According to that, Google say the website which use HTTPS may get more preference but it's not 100% if you have HTTP side, you will be getting the top positions, not like that, but the preference point of view, right now Google are preferring the HTTPS based website. So these are some of the update, updates and as an SEO analyst, uh, analysis and SEO professional, you have to be keep updating yourself in the market, then only you can able to survive in the field of SEO. And you can say what happened, what is the positive thing happened with this updates is all the spammers like who are doing spam process in SEO they have been wiped out they have been removed so the biggest benefit for the genuine and professional SEO uh, users SEO professionals is that now they can target and because it's more challenging today to do SEO so it will uh, create you need more innovative ideas you require more innovative ways you require more innovative way of writing content and you need to keep your, your website keep on uh, giving fresh content according to your industry that makes it more advanced and that makes it more challenging so there is more chance for the genuine people to rank better even in the today's SEO space so that's about the concept of algorithm updates now let's take how do we implement SEO? If I want to do SEO for a project for all my clients, what is the procedure I will follow? So the first thing I will follow in SEO is I will go with the concept of business analysis. Now, what do you mean by business analysis? Very simple. First of all, we will take a business. Let's take, for example, I give you a case study of one of my clients. Say, for example, one of my client is in Toronto and what he's offering is he's offering limousine services. Limousine is basically you see a big car will be there. So what I will do in business analysis is first I will try to understand about my client like what are the cars he has, what are the different services he's offering like wedding limousine, he may be offering prom limousine, he may be offering party limousine. So I will understand his business, I will understand what will be his probable products or services, I will understand what locations he's targeting. So business analysis is about understanding the client business, understanding the client needs and understanding the client requirements. Then we go to the second process called as keyword research. Now what do we do in keyword research is very simple. In keyword research, we try to understand what people are searching. Even Google says the guideline is that in uh, in the website, Google says you add those keywords which users are searching. This is mentioned in the Google Webmasters guidelines. Okay. So now what is keyword research is we try to understand what people are searching. For example, if you see most of the people in the Canada, in Toronto industry, they will search for the keyword limousine Toronto. So now uh, my target should be what limousine Toronto. But if suppose uh, a person is not at all searching for this keyword, where is limousine service in Toronto? No one is searching for that. Then what is the use if you get ranked number one for that keyword? No use at all. So the keyword research is a process where we understand the user needs, we understand the user demand, we understand what are the seasonal changes will happen. So the process of keyword research is finding the best keywords which will be suitable for the client business. Then we will do competition analysis for the keywords. Now what is competition analysis is in any industry you take because SEO is a challenging industry because there is a huge competition. So we will understand if I target this keyword, will it be possible for me to rank if possible, how much difficulty is there for the keyword? Like the other people already other website which are ranking, what is the overall value of that website? Are they very old website? What is the authority of this website? What is the page rank of the website? And what are the on page and off page elements of the website? So we will analyze that what is the difficulty level of the keyword using the process of competition analysis. Then we will do the process of on page optimization, which means whatever the keywords we have selected, whatever the data we have collected, then now we will make our content writer to write a very unique and very energetic and very uh, good article we should speak to the customer we should tell about what we are offering and in between there are various elements which we have to implement as per the SEO guidelines like we optimize the title we optimize the description we optimize the image tag we optimize the URLs we optimize the content keyword so there are some options which we optimize to make our website as per the SEO guidelines and once we finish off the on page optimization we study the topic of off page now you can say off page is a very simple process where off page we can deal with improving the external factors now what do you mean by improving the external factors is we can say uh, making the site making the site uh, 
get more number of valuable links, not, not spam links, not uh, dummy links from some directory or a social, but generating links from high authority websites. Say, for example, news website. Say, for example, you write um, a guest blog on one of the very big uh, digital marketing uh, sites. So you get a backlink from there. Or let's take, for example, one of the big brand has mentioned you. They, you help them with some services. They're given a mention to you like that. Off page is about building the brand in the external site, building, building your presence in the external big sites and then get from that getting the SEO values and then finally we will study about reporting and analysis which means to say the keywords we have selected did we really got the value for it or did we got the benefit of that particular uh, keywords or not did, did we got the keywords on the top or not okay if we get on the top are we getting the conversions are the people filling the form or not or are we able to uh, see like how much time the users are spending in a site are they liking the site what is the navigation behavior so we do a lot of that stuff on reporting and analytics to understand what is the procedure of this particular uh, what is the actual outcome of our process and if suppose we didn't got the ranking for specific keyword then again we need to come back to the on page optimization and we need to even sometimes do the keyword research again and again follow this process of cycle and if we get it again we will change the cycle to target more and more new keywords this is the process which we do in a real time seo work and in our curriculum in web trainings academy as a trainer i can give you an assurance and a guarantee that i am going to cover each aspect of search engine in depth and we will be having around 25 hours to 30 hours of duration including the training and the project so you get complete hands-on experience you understand each aspect i can guarantee you because i keep update myself with every new update and i do experiments on search engine to understand how the search engines are working in in, in indian space because sometimes you read an article in us space maybe that strategy or that technique may not work in india so i do some uh, experiments in an indian domain so I, I understand some data and collect some various uh, information so i will be giving you the training in a way like once you complete the course from our institute you can able to call yourself as an seo professional you can able to answer the questions asked by the interviewer as well as you will be able to hands-on implement the entire process of search engine optimization so and our course that seo training uh which is in hyderabad i will be providing the links below you can just go to the links below which will be in the description you can just uh, see the complete details of the data i'm offering the complete curriculum details i'm offering and you can fill the form and we will be getting back to you and we will we start a batch every month so i would i would request i would request all the viewers if you like the video please subscribe to the video and you can even like the if you can even click on the like button as well as you can share uh, share our video to your friends and also if you are really interested to come and learn the course i invite you for a free demo session at web trainings academy you can just call us on the number 9052425444 and you can come and attend you attend a one hour session at our place and then if you like that particular demonstration then you are you can able to join us and we will be showing you what really the seo is thank you very much for spending time and watching our video thank you very much